BP's blown-out oil well may be capped, but a rift appears to be developing between the oil giant and the federal government. It's over whether the well should remain completely sealed, as BP favors, or reopened as the government wants, so oil can be piped to ships on the surface. The plan favored by the government would ease pressure on the well, but it would also require up to three more days of oil spilling into the Gulf. Some say that BP wants to keep the well completely sealed to avoid blame if the crude starts to spew again. Sunday, BP's chief operating officer, Doug Suttles, said no one associated with the whole activity wants to see any more oil flow into the Gulf of Mexico. He adds, right now we don't have a target to return the well to flow. However, the government's top man in the Gulf, retired Admiral Thad Allen, said a seep had been detected a distance from the broken well. And Sunday night, he demanded that BP provide results of further testing of the seabed. Allen did not say what was coming from the seep. Earlier Sunday, he also said that nothing had changed since Saturday when he said oil would eventually be piped to ships on the surface. The testing had been scheduled to end Sunday, but an administration official close to the situation says Allen has decided to extend the testing. It is not clear how long that testing will last. An administration official familiar with the spill oversight tells the AP that the seep and possible methane were found near the well. Like Allen, he would not clarify what is seeping near the well. Earlier Sunday, a BP spokesman would only say the company is continuing to work closely with all government scientists on this. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.